Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a little bit how to create a simple texture for foliage. So in my last uh, Unity tutorial I showed you guys a bunch of the foliage, but you guys probably want to know how to create some of that stuff. So we're going to be using uh, photo references like I usually do. I have a giant texture library that I use and I alter textures to get it to look how I want. And so we're just going to go in here and uh, make something really quick for something that would be a bush or a plant or whatever you want to uh, use this texture for. Now these are going to be some simple techniques that you can use for any kind of texture if you're just trying to uh, pick out a certain object out of, your, um, out of your texture to use. I'll explain that a little more in a little bit. So what we're going to do is first go ahead and duplicate the background layer and we're going to be using image adjustments and black and white that will just turn the image to black and white so now we're going to go to levels and we're going to adjust these levels because what we want is the flower part or the branches and the flower pieces in this so we can adjust the uh, white and black values until we get something that we want So I'm just going to mess around with this a little bit until I get what I want. And that looks pretty good. Now what we can also do here is go to our brush tool. Oh, We actually want to make that completely black. So, yeah, let's see here. I probably want to cover a lot of this up because I don't want to use a lot of this. Okay, so we have this little section here that's going to be um, a decent start to what we want for our bush or our plant or whatever type of foliage we want. So what we want to do is go to select and then color range and here if we grab the little dopper tool and we click on a certain color, it will grab um, that color. And you can adjust this for uh, how much you want. We'll probably just crank that up and click OK. And it only selects the white area. Now we can do uh, Control C for copy, File New. We can go in here and do 512. Or 5, I am failing at this. 512. 512, 72, and now we can do control V. Now we're not going to see anything right now, but let's see here. Actually, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to uh, hide this layer and grab this layer and do control C. because it will actually pop up with the color we want and it'll show through like that. So what we can do is we can uh, drag this down until it's centered. That way if we slap this onto a plane um, it'll all be transparent and there won't be any straight lines anywhere. And what we can actually do with the background is just make it a color so we can see the see-through but I'll probably just change it back just because it's easier to see on black but you can then take your eraser tool and I grabbed a brush that was kind of uh, not like the circular brush so we can break this up and you just want to click on that top layer and go around the edges um, where the brush was because if you notice it's really fuzzy right here and we want to kind of break it up so it's not like that And we can get rid of some of the stuff we don't want. So right now this would be mostly used for a um, probably for trees. It would be leaves for trees but if we simply just like move it down here like this it could be a bush. If you uh, throw this on or if you export it as a PNG and you throw it onto a simple plane and then you duplicate those planes and rotate them um, 
these images will intersect and it'll make out pretty much a bush and that's how a lot of uh, game assets are created for foliage just with planes and so that's what you can use um, so we can do some other stuff with this we could adjust the uh, hue and saturation if you wanted a green one and we can do that if we want it and we could also go back to select color range and click on that again so we just highlight this area now we can create another layer and if you wanted to break this up a little bit you wanted a little more variety in color we can grab a little bit of that which is like a yellow, more yellowish grab our brush tool turn down the opacity and start painting on different areas like that and if we wanted um, you can kind of mess around with the different colors I like blending in a lot of colors into mine just so it gives it a little more variety so it's not plain like that and then we can go like that you could also go down to color and it'll blend it in a little bit more but the more uh, colors that you add to it the more realistic it's going to look in the end and if your bush isn't sharp enough that you want you can do a simple filter sharpen and sharpen like that and it'll sharpen the texture a little bit more so all you want to do is get rid of that background layer do file save as and save it as a PNG and you'll have your simple bush texture that you can throw into a plane and import into your uh, game engine if you're using unity you can do um, transparent uh, cut out diffuse and you can adjust the slider and it'll adjust how much transparency is on the object.